Hey, it's bubbling. So, bubbling, coming in, crushing this art. All right, what are we up to? We're filming a video. What video are we filming? All right, so this is Taurus Moon, Aries Sun, right? Because we went through Aries Moons, so now we're going through Taurus Moons. So, if we straight up think about Taurus, what is this? This is Victor, fixed Earth, right? This is Lucifer energy. Like, not for better or worse, right? People sticking to what they love, making compromises. This is what supports the world, What, right? Like, very Earth, right? This is the fixed quality of Earth. This is what? This is literally like like the support maybe not as supportive as capricorn but this is like what we value that we support you know what i mean not necessarily where we're going it's more conservative than capricorn but but yeah but anyway so yeah so if we think about just pure taurus this uh, this would be someone that's coming from a place where they just want to stick with what they love they don't want to necessarily like liberate from that right they just want to stick to that and find the best way to do that and enjoy that right um, and come back to that, right? Always like have that place just to be and enjoy, do do nice things, right? So that would be pure Taurus. So now if we think about the Taurus moon, Aries sun, so this is someone that's coming from a place where they like what they like, um, you know what I mean? That's not changing. They kind of want to be in the same place all the time, but they always want to find new ways of interacting with that. So this would almost be like um, the fire of earth, right? Because if we, we think about the fire of earth card in tarot, this would be an old situation that's been around, that's going to be around, unless there's like a lot of force that comes in to change it, right? Earth, it's dry qualities, it's past qualities, it's yin qualities, it's yang qualities, right? So, yeah. So now if we think about the Aries element, if you're acting in a way we're always trying to do new things within that, it's like there are going to be new stuff happening that may or may not cause tension, right? So it's like, this is a very dry alignment right? Because we have the earth and the fire. So this is someone that's going to stick to what they want to do and they're not really going to budge, right? Because they're acting in a way that's pro them and they're sticking to something that is pro them what they like, right? And it is the Mars and the Venus. This is like they're acting in a way where they can kind of bring things in, but that are in line with what they, where, where they're coming from, right? So this is almost like, can like, I want to say Cancerian, but maybe like more second deck in Cancer that is the Scorpio qualities or the third deck in Cancer with the Pisces quality because it's like knowing what you like right having your bubble and then liberating bringing new things off within that right through that right but yeah so anyway so i think that um if we just kind of sum it up the cancer i don't know why i said the cancer the taurus moon would be the person that's coming from a place where they're um they know what they like right and they're not really trying to switch that up but within that lane they're always trying to find new ways to do that right like so this would be someone that you'd want to be around for a certain activity right there might not be uh, multiple things you want to do with this person but when you are doing the thing that they love to do it's like they know how to really shake it up in that ground right but you're not going to really see them outside that lane but within that lane they're really gonna like bring their individuality or their own way to do things into that right Hey, so that is Taurus Moon, Aries Sun, bubbling, coming in, crushing this art.